Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Dimba and today is a continuation of how to create or model a parametric concrete deck and let's get started right away. This is our deck in the on, on the screen here you can take a look and this is a continuation of our previous uh, tutorial that we just uploaded uh, some few days ago. So today is just to show you various views uh, from this model. So this is how it looks. And if you take a look, we have two different colors here and uh, we need some sort of uniformity. So what we do, just double click on the screen here. Then uh, the moment you click on double, uh, on, you double click on the, on the screen, you'll be prompted with the, this view properties dialog box and go straight out here because our, our intention is just to, uh, to, to, to make, to, to make these color, to make, to create a, a uniformity uh, on, uh, of these uh, decks. Now to do that, just come to representation here and click that. Then uh, and uh, object group here, just click here and uh, click that drop down arrow and pick one of these. Because you can see by default it's all, so it you know, the, the color gets mixed up, so there's no s sort of uniformity. So we we'll, we want we want to give it a uniform a, a uniform color of closely to uh, concrete now I'll, I'll pick on that and click uh, apply uh, uh, accept that then click modify apply that so you see it's some sort of uniformity here the color is uniform so instead of going uh, uh, component by component and changing the color is really tiresome and takes a lot of your time and it's not really good when it comes to design you lose money in, in when you design because everyone chases time and that's why time is money now this is how it looks and uh, today we've created uh, an animated view that uh, will take you you'll take a look of all these uh, in all directions and this is how it looks in tecla structures and uh, this is how it looks and uh, in, in animated version we, we've tried to make it look much better than it is in tecla structures because it's, it is a combination of various so softwares or programs that assist that will help us enhance the visibility or the presentation of what we have on the screen here now today you can see this this was just one deck created and uh, uh, populated along the bridge Path. and this one was created with the help of macro uh, I mean uh, um, uh, a grasshopper macro and uh, a rhino so rhino is by default installed in uh, by by uh, grasshopper is by default installed in rhino so it acts as a, an inter interpolation bridge that help us jump over tecla structures if uh, I mean, when it comes to the complexity of, of a model that you are you are unable to do in Tecla structures, and you, we have some variety of commands in Rhino that will enable us to do that complex uh, component or structure. We can do it in Rhino. Then if we interpolate or transfer whatever we've done in Rhino and take it to, to, to Tecla structures for more structural analysis or more. Uh, more modeling or just to enhance or to bring it into reality in a, in, a, in, a, in a structural design environment now this is how it looks and in this case we want to uh, animate this animating this just to to show you different views of these of these decks let me just zoom out and you you'll be able to see what we're talking about so this is the grooves the male grooves of this deck you can see at this end we have some male grooves here and this meshes with these slots here you can see here the grooves here they mate and uh, they connect and interlocked and and get interlocked or interlock uh, accurately because the depth and the, the depth of of the of the, of, the, of the groove on the other end the same height with the, is this male groove uh, or, or what I can do just copy one here and, and show you how it meshes accurately without any gap left let me just put that there and you can take a look here then uh, you can take a look and just turn that round 
and you can take a look it's a clean mesh and also I can pick on that then I want to move it sli slightly so that you can see how it meshes and before that we want to use we want to check on uh, the XYZ uh, direction or position so we want to move it slightly on the on the y-axis you can take a look on, on this at this end here now I'll come to y-axis here and just type 10 or just type 2 because we want to move it at 2 millimeter interval so I'll just click on that so that you can see whatever we are talking about this is how it looks this is how it looks and we are losing we've lost that because we didn't copy everything we didn't copy everything we didn't copy everything and uh, I'm sorry for that let me just do it afresh let me just undo and do everything here let me just undo everything here and let me bring it into a position that it look much better and now let me just uh, select everything here and press control and show everything has been selected but then i'll deselect this grid uh, grid line i'll come to copy here and pick on this because i want to pick on everything i'll pick on that and uh, copy it right here and place it right there then right click and click interrupt just to terminate that command now I want to move this slightly so that you check the interlocking joint between the the male and female grooves now I'll pick I'll, I'll press alt here to select everything then uh, I'll take it up here turn it up or bring it close like that then uh, I'll, uh, I'll come to move or move special click linear then uh, I'll start moving it slightly so that we take a look it's not showing and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why and this is not as it this is just a simple thing that I want just to show you and it's not uh, coming up there's no big issue here because you can see the inside here because I didn't connect them perfectly and that's all I'll undo that now we have an animated version of this so I'll, I'll, I'll let you watch that and uh, if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then and bye bye and uh, enjoy the view of this animated video of the animated version of this bridge deck and bye bye enjoy the view Thank you.